today I'll be showing you how to connect your Hanshu batteries and Hanshu inverter to the internet. You'll need to do this if you've recently changed an internet service provider or if you've changed your router. You'll need to make sure you're within viewing distance of the batteries and the inverter so that we can locally connect. You'll also need to make sure you have the latest version of the Hanshu ESS app and that you've already connected to the Wi-Fi network you'd like to put the Hanshu on. We'll start off by opening the Hanshu ESS app and it should take you to an overview of your station. Of course if you've recently changed routers or an internet service provider you won't see any data on here as your Hanshu will be currently offline. All you'll need to do is go over to local and you'll be presented with inverter local settings and battery local settings. We're going to start with the inverter so we tap on inverter local settings, let it refresh and then we're going to choose the inverter that matches ours. Of course, bear in mind I'm in a testing room at the moment, so there's a few more devices than you'll probably see. And if the app asks you for any sort of permissions, such as lo approximate location, precise location, nearby devices, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, make sure that you approve them. Now that we've tapped on our inverter, we can scroll down to the bottom of the basic setup tab and we can hit clear Wi-Fi password. It'll ask us to confirm, we'll hit clear, and then confirm, and this will reset the battery and inverters dongle to standard, clearing the Wi-Fi password from its old configuration. Now we've done that, we can go back and do the same for our battery. So this time we'll hit battery local settings, give it a moment to refresh, and then we're going to choose the battery that we're wanting to reconnect to the internet. Give it a moment to read the data again. And then we're going to scroll down to the bottom of the basic setup and hit clear Wi-Fi password once more. If you have multiple batteries, you'll need to do this for each individual battery you have. And once you've done all that, you can pop back to the home page where you can see your station overview. Hit the, the plus icon in the top right and click add device. Your phone will then search for all Hanshu devices in the area and it will automatically tick everything that it picks up. For me, I'm going to untick the devices we don't want to add to the internet as these are just testing units but the ones I've left remaining with the blue ticks are the ones what we're using for today's example. In the top right you can see the little square with the Wi-Fi icon. You can tap on that and it will ask you to input your Wi-Fi password. Make sure you enter it correctly and hit confirm and once you're ready click add. It will take a minute or two to add the devices so we'll just wait here for a moment to make sure everything gets connected. If you get an error message like something we can see here such as bind failed Make sure that you're connected to a Wi-Fi that has a strong signal and that you're within viewing distance of the Hanshu inverter. We can see the battery connected here successfully, but because we were too far away from our Wi-Fi, we've got to head and click retry on the inverter and give it a moment. And we can see it's now added successfully. It'll then give us an option to configure the inverters once we've added everything. We can tap on that, go back, back again and we can now see on our home page that we have access to all of the data from our station again. Another way we can confirm everything's online and working is by going to device and we can see on the inverter tab that it's online. We can head over to battery and we can see that there's a green tick next to status. That indicates that the battery's online. That's all we need to do to get everything up and running again and of course if you're still having problems after that please make sure to get in touch with your original installer who should be able to help you get everything online.